Hey guys, welcome to another Top Drive video, and today we're going to be doing a breakdown of the information drop for update 15. Okay, so we all know that update 15 has been on the horizon now for a little while, and today Hutch have dropped some more information. Um, some of it has been released previously, and some of it is new, but I do want to give it a good breakdown and make it easier for you guys to understand uh, because um, it isn't always the easiest the the way that they word it okay so we are going to start with the rarity changes and how they're going to work in regards to the compensation tokens so we have been told previously that if a car is to change rarity, so we are going to take this, the 037, uh, because I've used this as an example before, and it's looking very likely that it is going to change to epic. So, if you have a maxed 037 at ultra rare at the moment, um, it will then go to epic and it will be completely stock 000, and you will get tokens to upgrade an ultra rare in its position but the information that has been dropped today is this so you will get 24 upgrade tokens and you will get five fuse tokens so what that means is you will get a token for each upgrade that you have done of course if you haven't maxed it you will get a token so if you've only put say you've put it up to 222 you would then get nine upgrade tokens, and if you've already fused it up to rarity, uh, up to level two, then you will get the fuse tokens for that. So maybe you'd get three. Um, but for a max car, you're going to get twenty-four tokens and five fuse tokens, which means you can use them on whichever car you want for that rarity. But also. Uh, just to let you know that they will not be allowed to be used on update 15 cards. So any brand new cards come into the game, you cannot use these tokens on. Um, only cards prior to the update. Also, um, these cards will gain a legacy tag, which means that if you wish to use them as food, um, then they will be classed as the rarity they were before the PL15 update. So again, let's take the 037. So currently it's ultra rare. When it goes through PL15, now of course it's speculation, um, but if it does go up to Epic and you go, well I've got four of them now, I want to use two of them as food, they will be classed as ultra rare. So I just want to clarify that they will be classed as the previous rarity before the update. Same will go for if a car is to go from super rare to ultra rare or ultra rare to super rare. So if a car is going to go from ultra rare down to super rare, then you will still have an ultra rare car to fuse. Um, so I hope that's kind of cleared that up a little bit. So the next nugget of information that's been dropped is the tokens value. Now we have been told previously that if we don't use them within a certain amount of time, that they will then be traded for a cash value. Now I believe that is going to be 31 days. Um, so yeah, if you get to the point where you've not used them, then you will get them exchanged for cash. Um, and the table is here, obviously, for you to view. So, also, on top of that, um, Hutch have released this, which isn't the car corrections list, but it tells us how many cars are actually going to be changing in update 15. So, we're going to be getting uh, 52 common cars increasing, 3 common cars decreasing, and 58 increasing, uh, 
13 rares decreasing and 44 increasing. Super rares, 21 decreasing and 26 increasing. Ultra rare, 49 decreasing, which I think is a huge number to be fair. Um, 21 increasing. 48 epics decreasing as well, which again is a huge number. 13 of them are increasing and then 32 legendaries are decreasing. And there has been this said also, which basically says that actually some cards are going to jump more than one rarity. Not many, but a few are. So we might get an epic drop down to a super rare, for instance. Uh, so the final part of this video will be about the turbo upgrading and just some extra little bits I wanted to add in. Okay, so turbo upgrading. Um, it says as part of the compensation feature, we'll be introducing a function that allows you to accelerate their usage. Turbo upgrading, um, which basically means that you can set a car to the upgrade you want so if it's 233 you can stick it on 233 and fuse it instantly to that build i also believe as well that once you put that fifth token in you will um, then incur a fuse timer so that's something for us to look forward to to see what actually happens So the upgrade tokens must also be used first before you can use cash to upgrade your car. And you can then actually make the choice of using a fuse token or use cash and cards as normal to make the fuse. So this next image is what they have used to give us an example of the fuse tokens and update tokens it is the only image there is there to use so if it's not great i'm really sorry um but it actually does show that the porsche has come down from a legendary to an epic whether or that is correct we are yet to see so finally just some extra bits i wanted to show you this one being the first saying that both of the copper camaros unreleased prize cars are both going up to legendary uh, but let's face it that's not unsurprising. That was going to kind of happen either way. They are both massively OP for Epic. But then that does only leave 11 Epics to move up to Legendary. Uh, I did see someone try to work it out, saying that once you take off the 7 Epics that are already over RQ80, um, then that leaves you just 4, and then you take them as the Fiori and the Evos, that leaves you with about one or two. Um, personally, I don't think the LDs are going to be staying that high epic. For me, they're just far too overrated. And if we're going to be getting a lot of new LDs into the game, then it's really, really going to change the hierarchy. So the final thing I just want to talk about is going back to the legacy tagged cars. If a car is to change rarity, so... Again, we have a car going from Ultra to Epic. Then it will cost you the same amount as normal to upgrade it. So if it's going up to Epic, it's going to cost you still 15 Ultras to max it, if that makes sense. Well, guys, I hope that's kind of cleared some more stuff up for you on Update 15. Um, we'll have to look forward to the live from Hutch themselves to see the final bits of information hopefully this update is going to drop this week um so thank you for watching have a fantastic day please do drop a like and subscribe and i will see you next time for another top drives video you take care bye bye